<laughs> are we gonna, are we, gonna, are we gonna do that? No. All right. Hey. Okay, we could wait, 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 it's, we could do burr. Yeah. Oh, burr. Ooh, it's chilly. Ooh. Mm. It's actually warming up a little bit. I'm excited to get back to this because yep. to, today we are actually able to do a podcast because last week it was absolutely freezing. And uh, on our last podcast too, we talked about how it never it never freezes mm-hmm. at all in Texas, but uh, yeah. here we are. It's crazy. So what do you know? Yeah. yeah. Right. So uh, today we are going to talk to you a little about a, a little bit about our experiences with the freezing and how you can protect yourself if something like this happens again probably maybe it'll be 120 years in the future we don't know uh but you know there there are are lots of little things that um you can kind of do to protect Mm -hmm. yourself so we'll we'll we'll, we'll be going over a little bit of that right yeah good yeah no (laughs) i'm all for it okay cool oh yeah (laughs) see look look um I do podcasts with Obi uh, EXP Realty, cool guy. Shout out Obi EXP Realty. Shout you can out do Obi. one of these things, and then I'll make him pay us for his bond. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just be trading money each m- month. Anyways, o- hand o- it to him, and he just yeah. hands it right back. Obi has like a script, and this is our script. It's basically just a blank piece of paper. <laughs> so, all right, props XPT Joel, Obi, everybody else. Uh, I don't know. So, anyways, we don't so, yeah, know what we're talking. We're just talking about it for basically, you. yeah. Um, <laughs> Hell froze over uh, yeah. about a week ago in Texas. And and, and, and let me preface the, the rest of this podcast real quick. Since, since this has happened, since all the freezing, this is the week after. Mm-hmm. And we've been just flooded. Like we were working, the re, we were probably going to be slow and slurring and be like, what were we just talking about? Because personally, I've literally got like three, four hours of sleep every night since like Sunday. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's good. forgive hey, us we like to, we like to if we're not on the ball, thing. you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jerry, Jerry, shout out Jerry. We're probably yeah, going to have you. Thank you again yeah. for having us, man. going to have to have you Google some stuff. As, oh, I got uh, you. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, D. <laughs> <laughs> Just start out with D and see what pops up. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I know a lot of people uh, had the problem with freezing pipes and a lot of uh, busted pipes, yeah. a lot of water damage, yes. and that's a, that's a big issue. Yes. So. Do you have anything happen over at your place, your house? Uh, so we have a water softener, basically a, a filter big steel tank yeah, that's are, outside yeah. and yeah there's really no no saving that thing it was pretty much it was pretty much done because you have the insulation wrap on it but it's not yeah, you're to, supposed it's not, to. it's not meant to go yeah, it's not going to protect you from zero degree weather plus a wind chill you know so yeah um, yeah, yeah definitely yeah. so so yeah. the thing like if if you in texas lots of times it will freeze but really it's just a real short kind of freeze it's not an mm-hmm. extended thing so it's not working its way into your home um, and, and, you know, if the electric goes out too, you might not have the same kind of heat and it's still going to start kind of creeping its way in. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the ways though, uh, well, so a lot of people in Texas, you'll see everyone puts their little insulation on, on the, uh, your hose bib that really does not do a lot. Guys. I didn't think little, it did. little styrofoam. It, it, yeah. yeah, yeah it really, really it's a it. little bit, if, if you get, like we just said, if you get like a, a good freeze in, but then it. Come, it goes away real quick like it can in Texas. It might help a little bit, but if it's that kind of freeze, it's probably not going to have enough time to start there and sit and freeze up that ice. Think about it, guys. You're talking like a little bit of insulation. Think about it. Yeah, and what, what insulation does is stop the transfer of energy. It doesn't really stop it. It slows it down. Mm-hmm. So if you've got a hose bib and you've got that on there and it's cold outside all the time and it stays freezing for like, I don't know how long it would take, but... If it's that freezing for uh, like over a day at least, that temperature is going to equalize on the same inside of that. So really it doesn't do that much. Mm-hmm. Just so you guys know, everyone likes to, to buy those all the time. Mm-hmm. And if you really were worried about it and you wanted to do something, you could wrap it up with a whole bunch of towels and kind of it, d- do that. It's a it, placebo tool. Yeah, yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. It's just the guys who are like, <laughs> Oh, we're protected. Let, let's, we're let, let, <laughs> let's figure out something that we can want we can get everybody to buy but yeah. it's absolutely and it's useless. also bad for the environment <laughs> it's it styrofoam, styrofoam, right? styrofoam things if you're using the um, old ones yeah i mean in in ideally in tech in texas it doesn't get that cold. yeah we people, don't have to people, worry about no, it. we don't worry about it you know yeah um see the thing like if you're up north or wherever mm-hmm. else watching this you'll be thinking uh, why, why are they having so much trouble well 
the thing is, is we are not built. Like up north, the houses are built. Everyone knows, expects it to be cold. They've got electrical mm -hmm. infrastructure that doesn't shut off. I mean, my personally was like three hours off mm -hmm. and like 20 minutes on. So if you were closer, that, to, if you live closer to a hospital, though, you didn't even have to worry about that, which is yeah, you know, yeah. Which I, heard, is I heard a, a lot. Convenient of, convenient for, for, for those homeowners for sure. Yeah, but, I heard um, a lot of that. Yeah, the, the power grid situation was pretty, uh, pretty back yeah. and forth. But, you know, it is, it is what it is. I mean, uh, you know. We yeah. got through it, which is good. Um, so anything else up with your house? Just the No, just the water softener froze up. Um, I know, so one good thing, one thing we posted on Facebook about too that, that got a lot of attention was um, shutting off the water main out by the street. Um, as soon as the oh, as yeah. soon as the temperature gets above 32 degrees and the, you know, the natural flow of water starts again is to, you know, have it all shut off so that it's not going to continuously just start. If there is cracks or, you know, like busted pipes, it's not going to just... Yeah, so like here, here's the thing. If you've got like a nicer house, you might have a, a fire sprinkler system in there. If you've got a, a regular house, you still have plenty of pipes. Everybody has a main water shut off. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the newer houses, uh, lots of times you'll have like a lever inside your garage. It's a nice little panel. That's really mm -hmm. handy. Most houses though, they it's out at the actual water main. So you usually need a key to open those. I would say like over 95% of people have no idea how to shut the water off. So it's really easy, just you know, YouTube it and uh, figure out how to do it. You can go to Lowe's or uh, mm -hmm. Home Depot, wherever you wanna to go to, just have the water key, the key handy. And it doesn't have to be freezing situation, you know, pipes bust or things break, like a water heater could go yeah. bad. Uh, but you need to be able to shut off that. If, you, if you're relying on like calling the fire department or calling a plumber, if you're going to be in a freezing situation, then now you don't have a supply of plumbers. You might be waiting around for a long time on that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, just, just learn how to do it. It's really simple. When we, when we say key, we're talking about you have a, a manhole. Uh, sometimes they're plastic or, or whatnot, but usually it's going to be a, a special tool. Who, are you so, adding these sound no, effects? No, I mean, it's wild <laughs> out there. Yeah, it's getting, yeah. All right, First so, the yeah. There's like five so, in the last yeah. we, couple minutes. Those are not drops from a, a DJ. I, I, I heard it at first. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, boom. It's like throw, throwing down the truth. This, this is the tightest podcast ever, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Mother Nature is yeah. like... Like trying to interrupt, man. Yeah, I mean, they don't want us to talk. They about don't. Fine. Mother Nature wants to mess up your house. Yeah, like, they, much, yeah, 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 trying to interrupt. Much. Yeah, for real. Um, but yeah, uh, at, the, the, at the water meter, wherever it is. I mean, if it the the one out by the street, you know, there is keys that you can get from Home Depot. Logo, yeah, it's it's a, a key. A, you'll have a key to open up the cover. Uh, lots of times, though, if you if you get lucky or you, you're in a rush, still stick a screwdriver or something there and then try to pull it up because lots of them aren't even like locked. If the you try hard enough, you can get it open. <laughs> it well, yeah, matter. you could you could do it with, with a screwdriver. Um, but anyways, get that cover open and then the the dial is just going to be it's uh, it's uh, what do you think? It's like a half an it's probably less than yeah. I mean, if like three eighths or something. Yeah. It's basically just a, a slot on a pipe and you're gonna turn that. Mm -hmm. off and that's so. your that's your valve well you, you said earlier like 95 percent of people don't know where are these working still i think yeah they're still yeah, working check, i heard check, something check, check, yeah okay all right well that's like it was in my right here is that what y'all got yeah, right uh -huh. here i think yeah all right um the come light. on mother nature but you, you, you said 95 percent of people don't know where their water uh valve or like how to shut off the water to their house basically but a lot of people don't even know which direction a valve needs to go to turn it off too. Oh yeah. Cause yeah, you might get that, you might get that opened up and you're like, well, I'll turn it a little bit. I feel like most, yeah. most of them usually just turn one way, right? Yeah. So I mean, you'll have it fully open all the time. Yeah, so just as long as you go the opposite way, you'll be good. Yeah. So there's like two types of valves. Usually the main shut off is just a little tiny notch and you're going to Turn it. Uh, yeah, you're gonna turn that notch. Some of them to have an actual a uh, like a, a lever. Yeah. yeah, right. So if if it's there's a lot of different ways. First of all, you have to think of it like a screw, just a screw that's in a pipe. You know how you turn clockwise to screw the screw down into the, the, the wood or whatever you're screwing into? It's the same thing. You're you're screwing the valve down into to shut off that pipe. So clockwise is going to tighten it up and counterclockwise is gonna uh, loosen it up. There could be some very extreme, uh, extraneous situations where it would be different than that. Another rule too you have, if you've got the, the lever like this, then if it's parallel to the pipe, it's open. And if it's mm -hmm. perpendicular like, like that, you guys watching yeah. on the video, then 
that's a perpendicular. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna yeah. close. It's gonna close that valve. It, yeah, high school freshman math. Did, did y'all see the the video of the girl that uh, had her car parked in a parking garage, and a water pipe busted right above her car, and it froze completely. And like when she got to, I mean, the whole from about halfway of the car all the way to the back was frozen in ice. And the water the water was froze all the way up to the pipe. So it looked like yeah. it busted out and then just froze like that. It was As like it all was flowing. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it was funny because mm -hmm. she was like, all these cars and all these spaces mm -hmm. in this whole parking garage. That's crazy. <laughs> and it mine is, has to be under water. the one pipe that buzzed. So mother, no, mother Nature does not like her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the uh, storm is fun for her right now. Um, yeah, yeah. 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 But somebody's um, going to need some shingles replaced. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So we, we've been doing th throughout this, we've gone to a lot of people um, just going to inspect their houses to make sure if, if they've had some damage and they want to make sure that there's not other damage. So we're getting to see a lot of this stuff that's going on. Uh, yeah. And you will see that a lot of these like fire sprinkler systems, you'll have them like they'll, they'll break. And it's not just some simple break where it's like a little drip that's what you would get a lot of times on like a broken pipe, you got a little issue. When these break like that, when they bust, I mean, they can literally just start shooting out. So it's not just leaking down in one part of your attic. It's shooting all over the place. It could be shooting up onto the ceiling and then running down your rafters. Oh, yeah. I mean, now it's going into is, the, the They'll wall. destroy whole rooms. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, even, even, even more than that. And, and another, another thing about that too is like once you get water damage on your drywall, your insulation, stuff like yeah, that, like it needs to, to be replaced. It. It's you know that's oh, how, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. more problems <clears throat> happen. But yeah, no people. Some people don't understand how much water damage, uh, the, the what it, what could cause to a house. For instance, uh, just today, I went to this uh, really nice house in Dallas. They had a uh, a, f a fire sprinkler system in it. It was. Uh, a lot of times they're metal, which is the better systems, but a lot of times on residential you'll see it's a CPVC and they paint it orange or it comes with the orange filament in it, and that's what they use for those lines. So that cracked, that busted open, and they have nice wood floors. You know, it's a nice house. So the wood floors, even though the, they got to, the water shut off and it, it went through, like, the living room, the kitchen, and then, like, the dining room, even though it shut off, we're still they're still gonna have to get wood floors for the entire house, and oh, whenever yeah, right. it goes, mm -hmm. right. so well, they're then, not gonna match. Yeah, yeah exactly. so yeah. then you're looking at maybe it gets on that baseboard a little bit, right? That sits there just long enough, or it kind of messes up. Maybe the baseboard's made out of like a particle board. Generally, if it gets anywhere on that drywall, now you've got to do a cut on that. If you do a cut under the drywall, you got to repaint the repaint. And a lot of time, if you rooms. don't have the original paint, you got to paint the whole wall or mm -hmm. paint the whole room just to match uh, well, it again. Well, even so, like aged paint, like unless your house is like brand new, it's crazy hard to really match it. Oh yeah. And your insurance, you're really gonna for just a, a tip for you guys. Uh, most of the time, they're pretty good, but you know, if if you're getting the house, if you, they do a flood cut like that, they have to paint the whole room pretty much, unless the ceiling is a different color, then they can kind of stop it right there at the walls. But then it's gonna go into the next room. Anywhere you've got line of sight is what they basically go off of that it's gonna be painting. Uh, the house that I, I was looking at went to the nice, had a nice curve around um, staircase and then that paint is continuous all the way up to their second floor. So <laughs> just because of that one room, now the whole house is getting painted on everything except for inside the rooms. Mm. So. Yeah, it, they, they can cause crazy amount of damage. And you're talking about the ice like that too. They showed me pictures of, because it was spraying, and it was spraying up on the rafters and then coming down out of the soffit. And it just made like, you know how an icicle forms, the entire wall, a sheet of, of ice down, <laughs> down the whole thing. And it keeps freezing as it's going mm -hmm. down. So it was it looked like it was probably six, eight inches thick. So, Man. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, this storm was tough, man. It really yeah. was. I'm, I'm sure. I, I hope a lot of people learned, you know, like at least learned the things to do to, you know, help protect their houses a yeah. little bit better for the next time. Yeah. Um. We were we were talking earlier. Even if you hear that it's about to get below freezing, like it's not a bad idea to go out to your water, shut it off, run your pipes, get everything out of there, and and wait it out for a day or two until the temperature gets back up. Just to yeah, I mean, if it's if it's something where you're gonna be leaving your house and you can mm. do without water, uh, if for instance, if you saw everything on the news before this and you're kind of worried about, it, you're one of those people who just moved into a hotel, uh, just in, just in case. 
it is a really good idea just to turn the water supply off to your house. If you don't know how to do it, look it up. If you don't want to do it, just call a plumber. They won't be as busy right before the storm. Yeah. But, um, yeah. and then, but, but that doesn't do anything unless you go in and depressurize the mm -hmm. house. So you're going to want to go to every faucet and kind of turn. The, the reason the pipes are busting is because that's a high pressure line. It's completely full of water. And as you know, uh, it, ice it expands when water turns to a solid, when mm -hmm. liquid turns to a solid. So uh, it's just, it's really strong. Ice is really strong. You think about like the glaciers, how much like they just carve rock, you know, just mm -hmm. as they're going down. It's crazy strong and it will expand. It'll bust pipes, easily bust PVC pipes, mm -hmm. destroy pool systems. I've got a pool. We didn't talk about the damages at my yeah. house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so let me know when you're fixing that. <laughs> I, yeah, I yeah. I definitely like I'll, to. I'll, re I'll recruit you for mm -hmm. that. So <laughs> almost every house that I've gone and looked at, if they have a pool, it is definitely damaged. The yeah. problem we had here in Texas, especially lots of the pools, they've got a, 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 a fail safe on them or a little safety. So that way when it, you can set it, usually they're set at around 36 degrees. Once it gets below that, that pool pump won't turn off. It'll just stay on. So that way that water is just flowing through there. Mm -hmm. And that keeps, uh, so then that water's flowing. It's not going to freeze up in the same way. But then here in Texas, our electricity started going out. So that means the, the pool pump started. Getting, and as soon as that happened, I knew something was up. I think we posted a picture about we it did. or something. But mm -hmm. yeah, you, one, of, one of the just exploded in the top. Well, ex, I wouldn't say exploded, but just. right, that, that. Pops yeah, so it's a, a little cylinder that holds the chlorine mm -hmm. and just completely popped off and then the, the, just like froze like in place. Yeah. Uh, and then as soon as I was able to, once the, it stopped freezing, um, I was able to start it up again and I can already see one at the elbow. So it is what it is, man. Um, yeah. I mean, I know like, you know, pool builders, new homes, people are having home, uh, pools built right now. And even before it's all done, like there's still, Look, I know a lot of these home, homeowners are like liable for these damages yeah. even before their pool's finished yeah. because like no company is going to be able to like replace everything because of a big winter storm. You know, yeah. like it's, it's, it's the liability. You well, know, e like, even the, tr the trend here now is a lot of these new, like mid priced houses that are being thrown up. Uh, they're just, just opting out of fireplaces completely. So, like, you'll see whole neighborhoods that just don't have fireplaces anymore because it's Texas and hardly anybody uses it. But I think people are going to kind of rethink that, yeah. like a just-in-case kind of Natural gas. Scenario. Yeah. 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 yeah, Jerry, what's this? You, you were saying that... What... Yeah, I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because... Uh, my homeboy is telling me whenever he remodels, he's like, yeah, everybody wants natural gas taken out. We're going to change it to electric and i was like nah i don't want to do it because we were remodeling my house so i was like nah i'm just gonna keep it because mm -hmm. my grandpa had natural gas when i lived when i was a kid and it always kept us warm so i was yeah. like nah we're gonna we're gonna mm -hmm. keep it yeah and luckily i did i mean because if i would i mean i changed the dryer out to electric but i kept everything else and i yeah. mean that, that was a lifesaver really nice. was yeah so for, for my wife's christmas present was a gas uh stovetop right the thing is is i've been pretty busy and um I have to, it's not just as simple as putting one in there. It's electric now and there's no gas that's run to it. So I've got to, mm. I've got to cut into the line myself and, and do all that. And it's kind of a big project. Oh, but so. you do have a gas line there. Yeah, we do have gas applied to the house. So anyways, this comes around and it hasn't been done yet. Sorry, wifey. Uh, and so all we've got now to heat up our house is our, our uh, gas fireplace. Just had it running nonstop, put the bed kind of right there, been kind of hanging out, uh, and just basically camped out in front of the fire. We, we the kids wanted bacon, so I made them bacon on the, <laughs> the fireplace. fireplace. Yeah, cool. <laughs> you know? I uh, even if you made a we, mess, we it was still going to smell our, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, we actually learned. So if you decide to do camping and uh, cook some food on your gas fireplace, you're going to get a lot of soot on your pots and pans. And that stuff is like crazy sticky and it'll get on your mantle and, it'll get, and the kids will start walking it and then it starts getting all over the house. So we learned, just put a layer of tinfoil on it. So yeah. put the layer of tinfoil on the bottom of the down. thing. Yeah, throw it away. You're good to go. I heard stories about people bringing their, uh, their charcoal barbecue bits into their houses oh, yeah. and apartments. And <laughs> I even <laughs> saw some, some makeshift, uh, like, like... The clay pot? Yeah, the clay pot yeah, with the, a few candles underneath. Yeah. And I've like, seen people doing it. Yeah. People yeah. are innovative, man. That's pretty smart. I... I, I I, yeah, uh, I do uh, uh, apartment inspections like uh, after fires and things like that. And a huge cause of apartment fires is 
like grills on uh, on, yeah. on the balconies. Yeah. Well, that's one and of the things you have to sign. Is like you can't. Yeah. Now, yeah. Can't now, now, now the time. Yeah. Here. But if you go to like the older apartment complexes, they don't have mm-hmm. all as many rules and stuff, which is the worst place for it. But yeah, yeah I've seen some crazy. There was one I did recently. It was in a really bad neighborhood, and these guys like got in a fight uh, on their balcony. You know, and, like knocked over the grill and then kept going at it, and then just kind of went got in a bit getting out of control. I'm so angry. I'm not going to worry about this property. I'm going to let it burn <laughs> yeah. down while we fight. And dude, it's fi- fire 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 inspections are like. Pretty sad most I know, time because yeah. lots of times they're in like a an apartment complex and and then you'll go and it's you know they don't have the, the sprinkler system so it's going to be uh, uh, like an underserved neighborhood <coughs> I guess and so then you've got like these like kids rooms with like hardly any toys and then like everything's burnt up and it's it's you feel like really bad for them yeah well our, my kids have way too many toys so there's been instances where I would just get rid of them. And I'll just go to these, like, apartment complexes that are, like, not as, you know, high, higher income. And then just, like, give the bag of toys to the yeah. lady at the front, you know, and then she, she can just pass them out. That's nice. Yeah, as soon as my kids get a little bit older, we're, I'm going to make them an give away all their toys. Because that's the one thing you, I worry about, you know, mm-hmm. like, oh, like, yeah. I like mean, spoiling. Think about, being, think about being a kid and your apartment burns down and, like, all your toys are gone. Like, yeah. not yeah. you're worried about your clothes. You know, every, there's so many things to worry about. But it's like, man, like, something that keeps them entertained and, like, learning and, like, it's just gone. And, like, that's another cost. You got to buy all that stuff again, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. That's awesome that you do that. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, I would, yeah, I'm not trying to – I was just – I, I was – Look, of I course, it. it's a good thing, but I'm it. also just guy. one not wanting to spoil my kids. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I'm a, and teach I'm them firm some values. You know, like my teach kids them. have toys, but like I would not feel guilty if they don't. Like, I'm a firm believer that they do not need toys yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, d- like, def- I don't believe definitely it. not as much. We're 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 real, real big on like trying to find like educational things. Like, I think exactly. Legos are are pretty ed- like as your mind being if if you have. You know, like having different minds. Like some people, I think, like being in English, you know, uh, or being math is definitely a lot of genetics, you know. So yeah. more than likely, my kids will be more math inclined and engineered inclined like my brain works. Um, so Legos, I think, are a good stepping tool mm-hmm. for that. And they're fun. I play with a Lego. Like my kids will be like, hey, you want to play train tracks? I'm like, you want to play Legos? <laughs> 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 I'm actually idea. getting like super good at Legos. Like. My wife, I'll build something. My wife will be like, you, had to, you use instructions for that. I'm like, no, man, this is like legit. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> getting good. One of my close friends, he just built like this huge Star Wars thing. Like, it's fun. Quarantine but, and, like, have yeah, you seen, I, I was walking in the mall uh, and they had like the, um, it was like, I think it was a Millennium Falcon. And the thing's like literally like a thousand bucks. And it's like a huge, like, it's like probably like a six feet, like big, like thing. That'd mm. be fun though. I actually did a 300 piece puzzle recently like a flat like a 2d yeah it was just yeah it wasn't it wasn't like your anything. brain's not like, advanced I'm enough not, for legos yet i'm pretty <laughs> i'm pretty dumb you're still working on a 2d mm-hmm. yeah i'm you're like what on 30. um yeah man i mean like I, I, so once you build a huge lego piece like that right like the yeah. millennium falcon like what do you do with it do you hang you hang it up do you keep it like that forever or do that, you take it apart i mean it depends yeah. on how much space you have but that's like, the thing i was heartbroken having to take apart that puzzle i was like yeah I had a buddy in... Um, uh, lots of people, they'll actually take, uh, was it Mod Podge or whatever? And, and, like, yeah, and, and frame it. Yeah, and yeah. frame it. Yeah. yeah, that's what my brother did with a, it's cool with a picture they put in their, in their garage, yeah. We mm-hmm. used to, my, one, one of my, um, my buddies, I was, I was pretty nerdy uh, around sixth grade. I had all my phases, and that was my nerd phase. One of my friends, he had so many Legos. And Legos are pretty expensive, but his parents, I guess, just gave him tons. And he had like the all the pirate ship editions, right? There, he had like every castle that Lego ever made, every pirate ship. And we, he, we would have like a two room process that would go through the hallway. I would be one guy, and he would be another guy, and we would like move the Lego, like the ships would like go, and the carpet was like stuff. Like we get really into it, mm-hmm. shoot the cannons at each other. Uh, we get marbles, and like you're allowed to like throw it, like it's like pretty hard, as hard as you could. At their pirate ship and try to like bust it up, and then when we <laughs> determine like if that's enough damage to sink the ship, then that would be it. It's, I mean, we got fucking into it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would say it was really nerdy, it was yeah. super nerdy, but it was cool. That was fun. I remember those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I've been an adult my whole entire life. Yeah, so. no. yeah. Why no fun. Have, I'm sure this guy has 
like the most amazing Barbie collection that you have. Like, <laughs> I do. It's pretty tight. <laughs> he says it's all about he's like, he's like, like money I dropped out of kindergarten because like, of recess because I don't play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the good lyrics to oh, like. Uh, <laughs> so you can fit See, that in I, somewhere. We were talking on another podcast about, you know, being, not having to have like a nine to five, not having to have like a lunch oh. break, all this other stuff. Like I, it, for people who have nine to fives, like I'm sure they look at lunch like a recess, you know, but like, what if there was just play time for adults? Like what if, what if these big. Oh, we got phones now. We yeah. do got play time. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 Stomp on my idea yeah, of putting sure. uh, playgrounds at every. I mean, I'm still, I'm, I love playing with stuff like, uh, you know. Games. Yeah. I'm always like when our friends come over. I'm always trying to get my my brother and uh, my brother in law. Well, both of them. We go to one of their houses. He I this. I have a nephew there. Go over there all the time. I have this big green like uh, mesh bag. It's like a dive bag. And I, every time I bring over my games, like uh, like uh, I don't even. I've got so many board games and stuff. But I just like it's really depressing though because we all got kids. You start talking. You get into it. You never play the games. But I'll still bring the games like every day. They make fun of me. It's like a thing. <laughs> Man, I, I like playing board games, but it all, all that's ever at the house is kids. And they're all so young. It's like you can't really play in It's hard. It's, not, it's like, yeah, you don't yeah. get it. Cause it they, yeah. Just go run around or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll want to they'll play. I mean, that's good memories I had when I was a kid. It was yeah, I, I used they would to be, love they would be playing, when I was yeah. a kid. Mm. So. I used to love playing Sorry. Like, mouse or, trap. or computer games mm. Mm. like a uh, Reader Rabbit. Anybody remember uh, Reader Rabbit? Man, I was I was poor. We had the pinball, the uh, pinball games. Uh, we didn't have a computer. My granny did, so we'd oh, go, okay. I'd go over there and uh, read a rabbit. Oregon Trail. Mm. <laughs> yeah, remember any of those? Yeah, uh, actually, I, I my, you gotta my, remember Oregon my, Trail. My, my, <laughs> man, yeah. if I saw it, I don't know. Maybe I probably would remember it. They got that on the app now and stuff. My well, my uh, my 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 grandparents raised me for part of the time. Shout out grandparents. It's Mama, Peppa. Yeah. Man, all back so uh, <laughs> But they, they they actually were pretty ahead of the time for technology. So I w- this is like 1990. And th- like the only real, like the, the games were like the big floppies. I don't know if you guys know about that. That's before, yeah. that was before, before the little the, hard disk. Yeah, before the, mm, the floppy yeah. disks. Yeah, so we had the floppy. Uh, we played like Wolfenstein 3D. That used to be like okay, one yeah. of the first nice. games. Like whenever there was only graphics, it was just like walls. Like mm-hmm. different yeah. kinds of walls. I <laughs> want to like, say... If I'm not mistaken, Wolfenstein was actually made here in Texas. If oh, I'm yeah? Mistaken. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It was one of the original uh, 3D games, one of the first 3D games. Yeah. We, we, uh, another good one was uh, King's Quest, and it's pretty cool. It was, it's a, you know, now I look back on it, it's a good learning game, but uh, you, you, it's like a mystery thing. You know how nowadays you play these, like, escape games and stuff where you, like, have to click here and there and you get the items? Basically the same thing, but instead of like clicking on things, you have to like walk and then you look at the scenery and then you have to write a sentence. So you say like climb tree or oh, you know, ask wizard. Yeah, I never whatever. played that, but I actually heard of like that. Like it's game. really complicated, like yeah. really hard to like figure out. And so yeah. it was they're pretty cool. It was like an all word game, right? It wasn't, yeah, it's, it wasn't that's all animation. It, is. it was like yeah, yeah. it's just a storyline and you have to figure out how so to actually, I think that was one of the very first computer games ever. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. This is like yeah, that was this like is, one of the first. They, they were on the. The my grandparents were up with the technology. Nice. I don't know when they actually got it. I just know I started playing it. Well, I guess I would have been. Well, that would have been like first grade, so that would have been like, like eighty eight or something. I think I don't know. Uh, anyways, I don't know, man. I remember playing a lot of uh, Goldeneye and Crash Bandicoot. Oh, yeah. okay. No, I'm tripping. It wasn't Wolfenstein. It was Duke Nukem 3D. Duke oh yeah, it yeah. was actually made in man, uh, 3D. I, yeah. I remember uh, back in like what is it twenty. 10, 2011, they made a new Duke Nukem game and it was like awful, apparently. Like, they were like, why'd you make this? <laughs> like, everybody, nobody liked it. But like, the first, I mean, it was innovative. The, yeah, the, the original time. was just like a 2D, like Super mm-hmm. Mario Brothers. You know what game I like? Was, what? Metal Slug. There you go. Mm, dude, Metal Slug. I had. I got so it on my phone. It's just not game. as fun as it oh, was on yeah. the arcade. On the actual sticks, yeah. Yeah, Metal I like Slug. The, yeah, Metal uh, Slug was great. Uh, another good one is. Uh, why am I? I don't know. It's the the tanks game where you have you like determine your your power. You have like a terrain and you fight oh, other yeah. tanks and everyone mm-hmm. gets to pick a tank. You like just was it you, called tanks? Because I remember playing. A I game think it tanks. might be. Uh, the only thing you do is you have like a different. You pick all your arsenal, like what you want to buy, and then you like raise the angle of your tank, and then you cho- choose your power, and then you just shoot. It's all just like math, mm. and you just. <laughs> 
Like if I, I was like, oh, that one went a little bit far, so you need to suggest it. I used to love. We play that game with my friends. So. Mm -hmm. Well, you, well, yeah. I, I almost said something that I wasn't supposed to say. It's kept Kevin would have. <laughs> Kevin would have got mad at me. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> yeah. We still, we still, we, we still should do the uh, the taboo buzzer idea. I think that's good. I'm, I'm into that, man. Yeah. We need to go find one. Um, yeah. So yeah, we definitely just went off of uh, talking about. Freezing pipes to yeah. video games pretty fast. That was cool. Yeah. So what what computer games did y'all play? Let us know. I didn't really play. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was gonna oh, say. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were asking me. I was like, yeah. oh, I thought we just talked about this, man. We can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. 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 You guys want to vote on your? your did your pipes video games? bust? And what was your favorite computer game? Yeah. 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 yeah let us let too. us know how what, you got through the freeze. What what mm -hmm. what what app games did you play whenever you were? Sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. I actually, I, I was, I was fortunate enough because we didn't have, we don't have natural gas at the house that I'm at. Um, we have a wood, wood burning fireplace, and the we have a firewood hookup as well, which is pretty sweet. So we have a whole lot of it, but we have them in like the big jugs. So I got to like cut a lot of firewood. So I had a lot. Of oh yeah. That. Um, oh yeah. Well, yeah. we actually, so we took the trucks off the skateboard. Nice. And I mean, I, I, we got a hill right off my front yard, and that goes into a hill road. So I mean, we was out there snow. I was hot. Like I was yeah. out there sweating, and it was like the first use I've actually found for a face mask yeah. because you actually put the face mask on, and the hot air you're breathing keeps your face warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was actually great. That is that yeah. is a really good part about masks. Yeah, um, they're they're, they're, they're good in the cold. Yeah, masks. they were perfect in the cold. Yeah. I was bet the only reason I've ever found uh, used one. Yeah. Mm. It sucks <laughs> so so bad when it's like over 100 when it's degrees. high you're trying to walk through walmart you just came out of the sun you're like can't mm. breathe oh, yeah. Yeah. i swear they they're they're the worst when you're in the store shopping i don't know yeah. what it is when you're in walmart mm -hmm. i cannot breathe in those things i feel like i'm better yeah. if you got the good ones like the n95 uh yeah. the, it, I, I mean re really cloth, though if it's not like if it's not hard to breathe out of then it's probably not doing anything he's one of these bad boys and they're yeah. cool. I mean, like they're they're good to wash. They're they're, Those are made they're out easy of to go. Under your underwear. My underwear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the old mm -hmm. underwear. Just the, just the ass part. And they just make one out of pantyhose. That way you can breathe right through it. Yeah, yeah. some lingerie. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, we seen one earlier. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I don't know whose it is, but I'm gonna try it on and see how I like it. Yeah. Yep. That was definitely made out of some it had to undergarment somebody, somebody, material. Somebody, it looked like a piece of. Maybe pantyhose or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Are Some placey there. laundry on top yeah. of Basically not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, what else do we got? Yeah. Uh, well, if we... You know, uh, one of the things that we catch, too, a lot is the pipes. If you have uh, any house probably, like, before, like, 95, it's a little bit mm. more common. You see a lot of pipes up in the attic space. And a lot of times they don't even have insulation on them. So we'll call that out to a garage. It's gonna be a little insulated because it's kind of connected to the house. You've got your big metal door, but you have water heaters inside there. So if it's gonna get cold again, just go outside and look right on the pipes that are coming into it and out of it. Usually they're like a flex metal uh, right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're just gonna to wanna to put that big black insulation. It's uh, a little foam sleeve. Yeah, it's like a foam. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know what that looks like, you can easily Google it. You can also go outside onto your um, your air conditioning unit. You'll see some of it running from your house mm -hmm. there too. Same, pretty much the same stuff. So uh, that's well, good. So another thing that we're curious about too, if if anybody's living in, in a newer home or a home that has pecs, so it's like you have like that blue and red piping that goes all through your house. Let us know if you guys had any problems with that. I mean. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more flexible than yeah, you know, yeah, so, a lot more flexible than copper piping. But I mean, yeah, I would, I would think that it would be. Yeah, you would I mean, have a lot less problems. With I would be it's more, basically, would be it's more basically water lines that. that are like plastic, essentially. Mm -hmm. But insul did your pipes freeze? You know, like how how well was were yeah. those insulated? And see uh, yeah. what what happens. Really, a big portion of the problems is that you've got a hose bib outside, so now you've got metal that's directly connected to the outside of the home. So then that starts freezing up. Then that little bit of water that's in that tube that's coming towards the outside of your wall starts freezing up. And then that ice water and that cold just keeps traveling it in. And so then it's going to hit. So you just picture your hose picket on the wall. You've got your main water going to that. And now that water goes to something else, like say a, a faucet. So that's going to freeze up. That's going to go all the way through. Now you're blocking that. So yeah, 
You like grab him with finger. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if, if, if you're not watching, if you're just listening to this on podcast, you have no idea. <laughs> but uh, anyways. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so now you're going to recognize it probably because you all of a sudden your faucet doesn't work. If your faucet doesn't work, then you're probably in a bad situation right now because now you've got that water is definitely frozen. It doesn't mean your pipe is busted. That means that it could potentially bust. Um, so that's one, one major cause of it getting in. Another cause you'll see uh, in commercial buildings, I just did uh, a, 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 I forget the name of the building, but it's a, a skyscraper in downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas. Is, downtown, uh, I've been there. That, yeah. <laughs> That's what I we said call the word it, nexit earlier. I was trying to say next exit. I was like, nexit. I was yeah. like, that could be a word. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah. It's not the alcohol, really. It's just sleep deprivation. Getting yeah. to that point where it's like, I'm gonna see, see, like see a little bit of hallucina- yeah. hallucinations. Mm. I can't even find it. <laughs> Studio audience in here. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so you've got most in, in houses, you've got regular systems. So you've got uh, your air, your, your condenser outside. It's called a split system. So you've got your air handler in the attic space and you got your one on your condenser on the outside. You're transferring energy from A, a to B. If you've got like an apartment complex, or you're dealing with like a larger area. Lots of times they use things that are like boilers or chillers is what we know them for here because we use them mostly for coolant. So you're essentially, instead of using a refrigerant, you're using uh, water in the big pipes to be able to transfer that. You're going to have cold water that's, that's the air is running across it um, like a radiator. Same mm-hmm. thing, either if it's hot or if it's, if it's cold. Well, now, so you're putting yourself in a situation where you've got a lot of water, big water, in these lines. And those lines, so if you're, big, say, connected to like a, a duct that's going to the outside, um, or if that unit is close to uh, the, like the roof, which is this scenario, they had three rooftop units that all busted. And this was on, uh, it was an annex, so this particular part was nine stories up, but it just went from nine stories and it flooded through mm. and it goes to eight stories and seven stories and just keeps going down. And that claim, that's probably, I'm doing some estimating on that and uh, you're probably going to be about at 1.5 million just just because, mm. yeah, just because mm. of that. So you, you, and like, and I have a lot of uh, friends too in the industry Almost every single one of the the, the, the buildings in downtown downtown Dallas, the skyscrapers, they all have freezing. It's all going from floor to floor to floor to floor. So it's like millions and millions of dollars. So, what have you all heard about? Uh, I guess due to the outages, like people having, I mean, extremely high electric bills. Like people are getting um, like thousand dollar bills somehow. No, I haven't. I haven't heard of that. Yeah, um, I heard about I it, mean, but I couldn't. I couldn't understand Nor why would I that would happen. <laughs> no, I mean, if yeah. something had to happen, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was less curious if yeah. y'all knew why that would happen. I haven't heard anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. Yeah, that didn't really make much sense. No, yeah, I didn't think so either. But I started asking people that though. Like, right. yeah, I heard like some people had like thousand dollar bills all of a sudden once everything was uh. Yeah, you said can done. Google it. There's an O in Google. Yeah. <laughs> There's two. I got some time to make up on that one, but um, oh. I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> Oh, Nobody else knows what we're doing. Yeah. All right, so what, what, how are we looking on time here? Yeah? Yeah, we're All about right. 30 minutes, right? Maybe longer. I don't know. We're <laughs> supposed to keep them short, but we tend to just go off. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to get a little, uh, little sign. You a, tele- see. a teleprompter over here. I'm going to type y'all stuff. And... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I don't know how to read. When y'all were, ta- when y'all were talking about that, that, uh, that game, the computer game where you had to type see? or whatever. Yeah. Like, there's no way that I would be... I don't know how to read or write, man. Like, I couldn't play that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, right right now, I, I, it's really hard to focus. Just <laughs> well, that's why you had to play Reader Rabbit, because it teaches you how to... Yeah, no, it was good, but then my my, my, my mamaw, uh, she would pr- probably get a little irritated with me, because I was always like, let's play Kinky's Quest, let's play... And that's, like, complete dedication to her, because she's got to sit there, because I don't... I don't know yeah, how, you, to, how to make complete sentences. Yet. I know like, that's what my grandma you know, was thinking, too, because she was like... <laughs> I wanted to play all these games, but they're all like learning games. And it's like, I'm not, I'm like probably four years old, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to do math. Yeah. So she would have to sit there and like walk <laughs> me through everything. So if yeah. I was playing the game, that meant she was playing the game. We was, yeah. She'd rather throw H. on Franklin. She had like yeah. Franklin VHS, so she'd rather throw it on. Let me oh, watch Franklin. Franklin. Yeah. Yeah, I used to love that. So yeah. do you 
spell Mima at the end of it? Is it M E M A H? No, Mima? it's uh, M A M A W. It's hmm. Mima. I, it just Mima. I remember because whenever I was learning how to write, when they were doing Christmas presents, I had to write like Mama and Peppa and like all the stuff. And I, and I spelled it wrong the first time. And she was like, that's not how you spell it. So I learned quick. She's like, Chris I had to go up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get new presents that year. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, uh, uh, one more thing uh, on the, the sprinkler systems too. If that's coming up, you, they do it up north, but they don't do it here. You can winterize your are you system. Talking about um, no, 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 like actual ir- irrigation. irrigation. I, I don't okay. think we got that to we that. Do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can actually there. Every sprinkler system has like a main shutoff. What you're what it's going to look like usually is a, um, it's a it's a, on a, so a newer house it's going to be a big plastic. Lots of times it's green. It'll usually say irrigation on it, and it's going to be in the shape of a rectangle. Mm-hmm. It's about. Yeah, you have, big, you have so a bunch like, of circular ones. All yeah, it's about eight inch and a half. It's not the control. it's not the small circle ones. Mm-hmm. It's just one big one, and you're gonna see two valves. It's gonna be like little. They're usually only about four inches or so, and then you're gonna see some stuff in the middle. Uh, usually, it's backflow prevention. You're gonna see a valve before it and after it. Just go ahead and shut off the uh, the the one that is. You, well, you could just shut them off uh, if you wanted to. Both of them. If you, if you don't understand which way the water is flowing, then just shut them both off. If you do understand which way the water is showing, just shut off the first valve. It's kind of hard to explain this yeah. without, like, if I were to show some graphics and stuff. Anyway, so you'll want to shut that one off so that way you don't have any more pressure in the system. Now the key, again, is to go and just run your sprinkler system. Just run all those all those all your zones for a little bit it's going to open everything up even though no water's coming out it's still trying to depending on if it's downhill or or whatnot it's going to kind of drain out you might see some water still come out of them mm. some of it the way that it's angled it might not get water all the way hopefully it's buried underground enough where that freeze isn't going to get mm. to it um, yeah ideally it'd be underneath that frost line um yeah, and that's another thing too with frost lines. Uh, I know we're kind of going on them. We said we're going to stop, but yeah. the uh, I, I, I'm kind of curious to see because it, there's all kinds of codes for building foundations. You you essentially look at a chart. It says what free zone you're in, and then that's going to be your frost line, which is you know however many inches below the soil. Up north, where it gets colder, it's going to be deeper and deeper. So you're going to want to put those foundations past that. Uh, that frost line. That's why up here sense. it's not going to be as much according to our charts. So there's going to be a lot of houses that don't have the appropriate protection. So I'm thinking that there could be some potential foundation. So if you if you've been living in a house um, and you maybe see a little bit of cracking here and there, no big deal, but it seems kind of constant. And then also in this year you see it moving a little bit more. Maybe one particular area of your house in a corner here. Uh, just go ahead and get your numbers checked. Mm-hmm. Um, you can, uh, we can come check your numbers or you can do, it's an actual machine where, yeah. well, this is what we use on every inspection. It's an actual machine that you put a box in the middle of the house and then it'll tell you a plus or minus of how, what your foundation is yeah. doing. And so. it'll, it'll measure, take measurements like to the tenth of an inch too. So you, we can see anything. Yeah, yeah. Movement. So obviously we can't see how fast it's moving, but yeah. we can. Unless you've had your numbers done. So yeah. if like we want, even on brand new houses when the mm-hmm. foundation's, generally not fine we still do those and yeah. that way you've got a baseline because the, the the foundations are not built like completely so yeah base uh we need that's why we need a dj <laughs> wait yeah. what's that what's that the, 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 the that's that's the uh, that's the bad the the uh where they're like rafting or something what what's it? where they're doing the, the the banjo scene that's where that's from they're doing it Who's back and they? forth it's a movie and i know what you're talking about and it's I uh i don't know why i can't think of what it yeah God, this is what I'm about. Nah, 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 nah. And they're playing it back and forth, but it's like these guys go on like a, I think like a, it's uh, it's like these hillbillies that like end up messing with this family or something. Hmm. Anyways, uh, yeah, go- yeah, Google it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. There's, learn is about there an ways. E in Google? <laughs> yeah, there is. Yeah, <laughs> the there end. is at the end. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, when it starts getting cold again, just learn as much as you can. Hopefully, you know, a lot of people. Did not have such a good time through this winter storm. Can you Google yeah. sound? But, but you know, <laughs> you know, one thing. <laughs> 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 sound hound it. It could come up. 
Can you Google sound? No, it literally just said <laughs> banana. Nana, nana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, Google's not that smart. But yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully everybody made it through the storm okay, and you know, it was it was crazy for everybody, but. You know the best the best tool to have is knowledge and, and learning about how you can protect yeah. your investment and you know I say investment you know, so, protect your home protect your pipes. If you're hearing us right now, deliverance. Not, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's that's. that's I literally looked up famous banjo riff. Yeah, that's that's a good way. That's a good way to search <laughs> for it. All right, that's why you're the producer master. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. If you're hearing me say thank you, then I really do mean it because you watched the whole thing. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. For real. So ho- yeah. hopefully, 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 people enjoy these podcasts. Yeah, you know, um, something that we wanted to do. Just well, I know we're. we're I feel like talk. we really enjoy making them. So I feel. Yeah, right? You know, you would think if you feel like I, you enjoy it, so. that other people Look, would enjoy it too. I, I was telling Kevin earlier before we came that, you know, it's been. It's Who's been Kevin? T- no, <laughs> He's going like it, so it depends bad. on the day. Sometimes it's yeah. Kathleen. That's yeah. a whole nother podcast. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to come out, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, but for for I don't even what was I just saying? You get you distracted me. I don't know. Oh yeah, uh, I, you know I remembered it because I'm so tired. I was thinking that I'm tired. That's what I was going with. Mm. So this whole week is it's been rough. Like I've like like no joke. Like three four hours of sleep since Sunday night. Um, and this, just having the podcast is like, well, I already knew that I'm going to be doing the same thing over the weekend and that's kind of depressing because I don't get the time with my kids that I want to. Um, but you know, podcast is coming up and I'm like, oh, this, this will be my Friday. Yeah. It's something you know? to kind of look like, forward yeah. to, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're having a great time. So yeah. honestly, if you're not watching this and what does it really matter? If you got this far, you already like us, I can say whatever I want. Right, Kevin? <laughs> Right? No. I should be able to say whatever I want at the end of the episodes. <laughs> because, you know, like then you have some dedicated no. viewers. No. Okay. All right. I'll it's let so you get, cool. I'll, 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 we're, we're working them up to that. So. I don't know. Yeah. I All mean, right. yeah, someday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is fun. I really Okay. 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 We're, probably, we're, we're running good. over. We're all, I'm also supposed to try to keep them short. You're supposed to be getting mad at me by now. Yeah. I'm going to get, I'm going to get like this a little timer up here. So, yeah, we'll put, so, we know, so we know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm Kevin and this is Chris. That's me. This is, yeah. Uh, and we are every angle inspectors. So questions, yeah. comments, just calls, text us, mm-hmm. pictures, everything. Comments. Whatever. If you talk, want to talk about things that happen when it gets too hot, we can do that too in the middle yeah. of the winter. Uh, I posted <laughs> something on Facebook about these cargo socks. Like it's like cargo pants, but they're socks. They're oh yeah, no, those are like I, I mean, that's kind of cool. Like, they would make everybody who saw them laugh, and but they would also be used. It's, <laughs> you know? Well, it's, that's one of those things. Keep my GPS tester in one pocket. It's, it's like, uh, man, that'd be an awesome place to store your weed. <laughs> you know, like the, the thing. <laughs> oh, I just watched Hot Chicks the other day, too, or the Hot Chick with Rob Schneider the other day. You remember when Adam Sandler comes out and he's like, "Yeah, this is the." Um, a uh, down to you know scale version of the prison that Nelson Mandela was in. He's like, a lot of people don't know that you can put your weed in. Oh yeah, that's what that's what <laughs> yeah. it's, is that what, that's where it's from. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, we're just gonna keep rambling. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Stay warm. Cold. Whatever you. Whenever like. you watch this podcast, maybe you're watching in the summer. This <laughs> makes no sense at all. You're probably not even watching right now. But anyways, hasta luego. <laughs> Every. <laughs> I told you, man. Sleep deprivation's a bitch. (laughs) See you guys.